Barbados is ready to welcome international visitors for the 2020 winter season. The island reopened its international borders on July 1st and has seen a gradual revival of its tourism industry. The Caribbean Tourism Organization spoke with Barbados' Minister of Tourism, Lisa Cummins, about travel to the island since the reopening. Minister Cummins said, Early air traffic to Barbados in July and August was mainly the repatriation of nationals stuck outside due to COVID-19. She said, however, many people are now making arrangements to spend the upcoming winter season on the island. So far, we have welcomed back British Airways, Virgin Atlantic, and uh, JetBlue Airlines. And beginning in October, we will be welcoming back American Airlines. Uh, between December and January, we should be welcoming back uh, Copa, and we expect to be welcoming also Lufthansa, Lufthansa uh, during the course of the latter part of the year. So we are looking at how we gradually are able to resume some level of uh, significant airlift coming into the country. So According to Minister Cummins, Barbados has not seen local or community spread of COVID-19 as 100% of the positive cases have been imported since the reopening in July. She explained Barbados has an overnight wait time for COVID-19 testing for arriving passengers and visitors are also subjected to a mandatory retest five days after their arrival. For passengers arriving in Barbados, in particular those from medium and high risk countries uh, who do not have come with a 72 hour valid PCR test, they are able to be tested on arrival here at the airport. A few seconds, I've done the test, it takes no more than a few seconds. Uh, test, you go to a quarantine hotel overnight, you relax in your hotel room, have room service come in, not interact with anybody, and by the next morning, you're going to have your results back. The Caribbean community, CARICOM, has begun operating a regional travel bubble as part of efforts to resuscitate the travel and tourism sectors which have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. According to a statement from Barbados' ambassador to CARICOM, David Comis Young, the travel bubble took effect on Friday, September 18. The initiative includes Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados, Dominica, Grenada, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The statement said other member states and associate members will be allowed to participate when they meet the criteria. Persons entitled to participate in the travel bubble are not required to take COVID-19 tests nor to undergo a period of quarantine in order to travel to countries that are within the bubble.